We've just returned from the christening sailing on Norwegian Cruise Line's newest ship, Norwegian Prima. This 143,500 gross ton ship is able to accommodate just under 3,100 guests and offers many firsts in the industry and firsts for the brand amenities. If you're considering a cruise for your next vacation, this video is for you as we go deck by deck showing you everything this new ship offers in our comprehensive Norwegian Prima ship tour up next. Welcome aboard cruisers, I'm DB from Eat Sleep Cruise, where we help you plan the perfect cruise so you can see the world one port at a time. And one of our favorite cruise lines is Norwegian Cruise Line. So when we had the chance to check out their newest ship, Norwegian Prima, we were beyond excited. So like we do for all our ship tours, we're going to start at the very top of the ship and go deck by deck, showing you all the public spaces, all the bars and lounges, restaurants, entertainment facilities, and more. So let's start at the very top of the ship, Deck 20 midship at the Prima Speedway. This racetrack on Norwegian Prima is longer and larger than its predecessor on Norwegian Encore. In fact, it's the first three-level racetrack at sea. This aft located speedway is 22% larger, boasting a longer straightaway and 14 turns. So strap in and get ready to race your friends on one of the most thrilling attractions on any cruise ship. The current cost of one ride on the Prima Speedway is $15, or there is a you in the track experience where you can get the whole track to yourself in the attempt to win bragging rights for the fastest time of the voyage. At the very forward of Deck 19, you'll find a somewhat secluded sun deck near the entrance of the wave. If you're cruising with the kids, you may want to chill here while they enjoy the water slide. On the starboard side of this deck, you'll find the NCL's first tidal wave water slide. In fact, the only water slide on Norwegian Prima, the wave. The wave features gushing surfs where guests can ride an inner tube to catch the perfect wave on board their cruise ship. Also all the way forward, but on deck 18, is the kids' aqua park. This water play area is located on the starboard side, with an additional sun deck on the port side for the parents to relax. This aqua park includes multiple water features for the little ones. Honestly though, it is smaller than aqua parks on competitor cruise lines. Aft on Deck 18, you'll find many of the new amenities that you won't find in any other Norwegian Cruise Line ship. First, on the port side, there is the Bullseye. This venue is a semi-enclosed lounge space where you can play an interactive game of darts while enjoying some drinks with your friends. The boards even keep track of the score and offer instant replays with up to six players per lounge. Right next door to the bullseye, you'll find Tea Time. This interactive mini golf course is styled with a Vegas backdrop and is a fun activity for all ages. Guests even have a chance to win prizes. Unlike most cruise lines though, this nine hole course will cost you extra money. Continuing beyond the mini golf, there is an activity for all the thrill seekers among us. At 10 stories tall, Norwegian Prima's newest slide, the drop, is the first free fall slide in the world. This dry slide punches 10 stories, reaching the highest G-forces found on any cruise line. Across the way on the starboard side, there are two additional dry slides. The Rush is a pair of dueling slides where guests can twist their way down 10 stories. 
the rush is certainly less intimidating than the drop. Both the drop and the rush slides make their landing down on Ocean Boulevard on deck 8, and both attractions are complimentary. Also located nearby on the starboard side of Deck 18 is the stadium. This venue features complimentary tabletop games like foosball, shuffleboard, and even beer pong. With all the fun activities located at the aft of this deck, your teens may never want to leave. Not far away, you'll find the Prima Speedway Bar on Deck 18. This is the perfect spot to celebrate your victory. This new bar is located below the Prima Speedway racetrack and overlooks the Vibe Beach Club on Deck 17. Heading down to Deck 17, there is a familiar favorite, the Observation Lounge. This redesigned space on Norwegian Prima is all the way forward, offering amazing views. While it is smaller than its counterparts on other NCL ships, it provides a more cozy ambiance. It also features telescopes, some light bites, and a bar to order up your favorite cocktails while relaxing in this space. Another familiar favorite from the Breakaway Plus class ships, the Galaxy Pavilion is also found forward on Deck 17. This virtual reality complex is amped up even further, offering 14 interactive and immersive attractions. Cruisers can experience the only top golf swing suite at sea, racing simulators, a dock ride, as well as two escape rooms, with the second one opening soon. Pricing for these attractions is $8 a ride. Or there are options for hour passes, day passes, and even cruise length passes. The escape room is excluded from those costs and is expected to cost $15 per person. Heading outside on deck 17, there is the pool deck. This area features a central pool with plenty of surrounding loungers. There are also two infinity hot tubs, one starboard and one port side, with both of them offering more options for relaxing poolside. Like many NCL ships, the main pool area does feel rather small for a ship of its size. Of course, you won't have to go far to grab your favorite cocktails either. The Waves Pool Bar is located nearby, serving up your favorite poolside drinks for you to enjoy while soaking up the sun. Continuing aft on port side, you'll find NCL's latest rendition of the cruise ship buffet. The Surfside Cafe and Grill is just one of the casual food options on Norwegian Prima. This complimentary buffet shows up plenty of choices for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, with indoor and outdoor seating available.
across the way on the starboard side of this deck, there are two specialty restaurants. First, there's NCL's first Mediterranean-inspired restaurant, Palomar. This new seafood specialty restaurant serves up dishes like oysters, lobster, filet mignon, a veal chop, and more, and is priced a la carte. With some entrees having a $25 supplement when using the specialty dining package. Located nearby is one of our favorite specialty restaurants on Norwegian Cruise Line, the Food Republic. This fusion restaurant offers a variety of tapas sized dishes with culinary influences from around the globe. On Norwegian Prima, the Food Republic has a larger restaurant space and better views of the outdoors. This venue is also priced a la carte and is great for sharing with friends. If you're using the specialty dining package here, it includes four items per person. Aft on deck 17 is the Vibe Beach Club. This adult's only space is an upcharge, and there are a limited number of passes available each voyage. Passes can be purchased for $249 for a week. The Vibe Beach Club features plenty of comfy lounge furniture, two infinity hot tubs, a bar, and dedicated staff. Heading down to deck 16, the Pulse Fitness Center is located all the way forward. In fact, this is the first NCL fitness center that's been located to the front of the ship. This location affords gym goers 270 degree views of the ocean. In addition to a variety of the state of the art strength and cardio equipment, the fitness center also offers upcharge, yoga, and spin classes. Next door on deck 16 is the completely reimagined Mandara Spa. The spa offers typical services like massages, acupuncture, manicures and pedicures, and facials, along with some new services as well. You'll also find the salon and barbershop here. The Mandara Spa's thermal suite on Norwegian Prima features the industry's first charcoal sauna derived from Japanese and Korean wellness practices. The sauna is just one of the eight thermal suite offerings. There's also a salt room, steam room, ice room, a flotation salt pool and vitality pool, an infrared sauna, a two-story waterfall, and some hot stone loungers. The current pricing for the Thermal Suite Passes is $339 for a week. There are also day passes for $99 if available, as well as two day and three day passes. Or you could book one of the 28 exclusive spa balcony state rooms, which includes access to Mandara Spa's Thermal Suite experiences. The remainder of deck 16 is mostly staterooms until you reach the aft of the ship where you'll find the Haven. This exclusive ship within a ship concept has been relocated and elevated to offer the most centralized suite complex. The Haven features the most luxurious accommodations on any ship, a plethora of private amenities and dedicated services. The Haven Lounge and Bar is located on the port side of deck 16. Here guests can enjoy their favorite cocktails and light bites with both indoor 
and outdoor seating areas. The Haven Restaurant is located on the starboard side. This restaurant offers a private dining experience just for guests of the Haven. The venue serves a unique menu and also has both indoor and outdoor seating. The Haven Courtyard on Norwegian Prima has been transformed into an expansive Haven sun deck. This two-story space boasts two hot tubs, a new infinity pool overlooking the ship's wake, and a new outdoor spa with a sauna and cold room. This private outdoor sanctuary is reserved exclusively for guests in the Haven, and access is further restricted to guests 16 years of age and older. Decks 15 through 9 are primarily staterooms, with the exception of Splash Academy on Deck 15 and the Studio Lounge on Deck 12. Splash Academy is a space dedicated to kids where they can enjoy creative play, sports, and more with their peers. Splash Academy is for kids 3 to 12 years old. These activities and dedicated spaces are included in your cruise fare on Norwegian Cruise Line. During this christening cruise on Norwegian Prima, we stayed in cabin 9148. This category BF Balcony stateroom is located forward on deck nine, near the forward bank of elevators. These balcony staterooms are 231 square feet with a 45 square foot balcony. Norwegian Prima offers the brand's largest ever inside ocean view and balcony staterooms including the brand's largest ever bathrooms and showers for standard stateroom categories. This increase in square footage is noticeable when comparing Norwegian Prima to other ships in the NCL fleet. The decor is very modern with a neutral color palette, pops of blue, and upscale finishes. The bathroom too has clean finishes and more space than a typical NCL cabin bathroom. Further, there are plenty of USB, USB-C, and power outlets located throughout the room for charging multiple devices. Of course, you'll also find a love seat, large television in front of the bed, and a desk. The balcony is a pretty typical size, but does have some upgraded chairs to enjoy the ocean breezes in comfort. Although the one space in our cabin that we didn't love was the closet. While they were three closed bars with hangers, there were no drawers. There were a few small wire baskets which fit items like undergarments, but not much else. Also, the wife would have appreciated taller closets for hanging dresses. Making our way down to deck eight, we're at the heart of the ship. On Norwegian Prima, NCL has reimagined its waterfront by doubling the space and adding a greater variety of experiences and dining options. The new Ocean Boulevard is 44,000 square feet long and wraps around the entire deck. Given the region we were sailing, unfortunately it was quite windy and cool during our cruise, so we didn't get to experience this area as much as we had hoped. Starting at the forward end of Ocean Boulevard, there is La Terraza. This lounge space is designed to be both spacious and intimate giving guests a quiet space to relax and admire the forward-facing views. Continuing aft on Ocean Boulevard from La Terraza, you will find the Ocean Wall on both the port side and starboard sides of the ship. Similar to the Sea Walk on Princess Cruises, Ocean Walk is NCL's first glass walkway at sea. These glass walkways make guests feel as if they're walking on air over the water. They also make for great photo spots. Continuing aft on Ocean Boulevard, on the starboard side, you'll find another unique and upscale space on Norwegian Prima, the Concourse. This outdoor sculpture garden features an art wall and six art installations inspired by ancient mythology and abstract forms. These art pieces are valued at over $2 million. The Concourse is a great space to relax and admire the interactive collection both day and night. Continuing down Ocean Boulevard, you'll find the landing area on the port side for the drop and the rush landing area on the starboard side. 
on both sides of Ocean Boulevard is Infinity Beach. This upscale promenade pool deck area is ingenious. Infinity Beach features two infinity pools, one on the port side and one on the starboard side. These designs put the pools closer to the ocean than ever before for breathtaking ocean vistas while lounging in the open air. Of course, there's also a variety of lounge furniture to soak up the sun at Infinity Beach as well. With some day beds and plenty of loungers all facing the ocean, you won't have to worry about foot traffic either with this unique design as there are walkways for those who are just passing through on Ocean Boulevard. Making your way all the way aft on Ocean Boulevard, outside the Indulge Food Hall is the Indulge Outdoor Lounge. This relaxation space offers a variety of seating options and another great outdoor space to enjoy the views. This whole space has an upscale beach club-like feel. Within this lounge space is the Soleil Bar. The Soleil Bar offers a signature drink menu with several cocktails on tap. This bar is a great space to enjoy a cocktail and the wake views, perhaps even catch a sunset. Off the upper level of the Penrose Atrium, on the port side of Deck 8, you'll find the Whiskey Bar. This bar offers a specialty drink menu with a variety of whiskey and bourbon-based cocktails. There's also plenty of seating around the circular bar if you would just like to sit here and relax. Just behind the whiskey bar on the port side of Ocean Boulevard, there is a specialty restaurant Onda by Scarpetta, offering both indoor and outdoor seating. This restaurant first debuted on Norwegian Encore and is also available on Norwegian Spirit. This specialty restaurant showcases rich and bold flavors from the award-winning Scarpetta restaurants with modern Italian dishes like fresh pasta, mouth-watering seafood, and timeless desserts. This is one of our favorite Italian restaurants at sea. You can choose to pay a la carte here or use your specialty dining package. Across the way on the starboard side of Deck 8, there are some shops and boutiques, including Pandora Jewelry, which is also home to the Norwegian Prima logo shop, an eyeglass store, and the tech at sea. Continuing aft on the starboard side, you'll cross the photo gallery and studio. Here you can view and purchase all your photos from the trip on digital kiosks. You can also book a private photo session on the ship or engage in one of the augmented reality experiences with the imagination wall. Exiting the photo gallery, you'll come across another NCL favorite, the local bar and grill. This version has been revamped with new seaside atmosphere with indoor and outdoor seating on Ocean Boulevard. The restaurant portion has also been separated from the bar area to provide two more intimate spaces. The local offers all your classic pub fare along with cocktails and a large beer selection. This complimentary venue is open 24 hours a day, serving up slightly different menus depending on what time of day you choose to dine. New on Norwegian Prima, the local features live music in the bar area as well. Not to mention a variety of seating options, including swing chairs. Located right next to the local restaurant is another specialty restaurant, Los Lobos. Los Lobos is a premium Mexican restaurant offering traditional flavors with a modern twist. For instance, the venue offers guacamole prepared tableside, tacos, conchita peeble, and more. Again, guests can pay a la carte or use a meal from their specialty dining package. Finally, aft on deck eight is the Indulge Food Hall, which we've likened to the galley on Virgin Voyages. This aft located venue features 11 different eateries with both indoor and outdoor seating. 
So you can choose to enjoy your food at a table, the bar, or perhaps outside in the comfy lounge furniture. The best part is that most of these food stations are complimentary. Some even offer different menus for lunch and dinner. The Indulge Food Hall is also open for breakfast, serving grab-and-go options like breakfast sandwiches, fruit, breakfast pastries, and continental breakfast items. Coco's is one exception that is priced a la carte. Coco serves up gourmet milkshakes and sundaes that are definitely photo-worthy. You may have to show some self-restraint because you could simply lose yourself in these sweet surroundings. The only other upcharge venue is Starbucks. The popular coffee house on land has a second home in the indulged food hall on Prima. These espresso-based beverages will cost extra though. Of note, even if you have the premium beverage package included in Line's free at seat promotion, these drinks are still not included. You'll have to upgrade to the premium plus drink package for this inclusion. The other eateries scattered throughout the indulged food hall are all complimentary, at least for now. These include Q Tessic Smokehouse, which is actually a specialty restaurant on a few other NCL ships. On Norwegian Prima, this venue serves up southern comfort food and barbecue favorites, like deviled eggs, brisket, pork spare ribs, jalapeno cheese cornbread, and more. There's also Tamara, which serves classic Indian dishes, like chicken tiki, tandoori vegetables, naan, and papadam. Additionally, Noodle serves noodle dishes from around the world, from Italian to Thai cuisine, with options like shrimp pad thai noodles and various pasta dishes. There is also the Seaside Rotisserie, which is a brand new concept for Nugent Cruise Line. This food stand offers a wide array of rotisserie cooked dishes like beef tenderloin, lamb chops, chicken legs, and vegetable kebabs. Further, there is the Garden Kitchen, where guests can order customized salads with more than two dozen ingredients. There's even a tapas food truck in the Dutch food hall on Norwegian Prima. This food truck serves up Spanish-inspired street food like chorizo and manchego. Right next door is the Latin Quarter, which serves classic Latin food with a twist with menu selections like guacamole, tostadas, and totopos. Finally, for those with a sweet tooth, there's Just Desserts, which features a variety of dessert options, which change often, and Just Ice Cream, serving all your favorite ice cream flavors. Not to mention, the Indulge Food Hall also houses the Luna Bar. Here you can grab some cocktails or draft beers to enjoy along with your food selections. Making your way down deck seven, off the second level of the Penrose Atrium, you'll find a variety of Norwegian Prima support services. Located on the port side, you'll want to visit the shore excursions desk if you have any questions about your ashore activities or if you want to book shore excursions once on board the ship. Likewise, guest services is located on the starboard side. Guest services is your go-to spot for all your questions and concerns while on board Norwegian Prima. There are always staff members at these desks who are happy to help. If you want to avoid the lines, you can even join a virtual queue on the app. In addition, there's also the Internet Cafe. This desk is your go-to spot with any questions and concerns about the Wi-Fi while on board the ship. Just in case one Starbucks wasn't enough, there's another location on the port side of Deck 7. Here you can grab all your favorite beverages from lattes to teas, refreshers, frappuccinos, and more. Again, these beverages will be an upcharge unless you have the premium plus beverage package. There's also plenty of lounge space around Starbucks to relax while enjoying your coffee or maybe even do a little bit of work. On deck seven forward, you'll also find some shops and purchase items like Effie jewelry, watches, and more. Continuing aft, you'll pass through the gateway 
Well, you'll find several more shops in this midship Galleria, selling everything from handbags to art. Next up on deck seven, you'll find two entertainment spaces. On the port side, there's Sid Norman's Poor House. After initially debuting on Norwegian Breakaway in 2018, this venue makes a comeback on Norwegian Prima. Replacing the Cavern Club on other newer ships in the fleet, Sid Norman's is your rock club at sea. Here you can sing along to your favorite hits from the live and interactive band while sipping some cocktails from the bar. Across the way on the starboard side is the Improv at Sea. This small comedy club features stand-up performances from two comedians throughout your cruise. Reservations are required. During our cruise, the Improv at Sea also hosted additional events, including game shows and musicians. On deck seven, you'll find a number of dining venues. First up on the port side is La Bistro, NCL's signature French restaurant. This upscale specialty dining venue on Origin Prima is designed after the Palace of Mirrors in Versailles with elaborate chandeliers and decor. This intimate setting makes for a romantic night out. La Bistro's menu features favorites like escargot, lobster thermidor, and coco vin, all at a la carte pricing. Of note, the Lobster Thermidor is a $25 supplement with the specialty dining package. Across the way on the starboard side is the Metropolitan Bar. The Metropolitan Bar is NCL's first sustainably focused bar, featuring zero waste cocktails, including the signature Prima Donna. The bar also offers various other sustainable craft cocktails and biodynamic wines. This bar has very little theming and no live music, though there is a large seating area here. Tucked beside the Metropolitan Bar is the Humidor Cigar Lounge. This space offers a wide selection of cigars for purchase alongside leather chairs. Unfortunately though, with cruisers entering and exiting this lounge, the smell can seep into the Metropolitan Bar which was a turnoff for us. Continuing aft on deck seven, you'll find the Nami Sushi and Sashimi, the new sushi bar on Norwegian Prima. This small venue offers elevated sushi dishes prepared by master chefs alongside a carefully curated sake list. Across the way on the port side is Hazuki, the new teppanyaki style experience. Here, a skillful chef serves up shrimp, steak, chicken, and fried rice on a large steel grill. This dinner and show hibachi experience never disappoints. With Japanese influenced decor, great food, and entertaining chefs, you shouldn't miss Hazuki. The pricing for Hazuki is a flat fee of $49. Finally, completely apt on deck seven is the larger of the two main dining rooms, Hudson's. On Norwegian Prima, NTL has revamped the entire main dining room concept. Now, the two main dining rooms offer an extensive fixed menu instead of the typical rotational menus. At Hudson's, guests can admire the 270 degree views while enjoying a variety of global cuisine, as well as a build your own pasta section, vegetarian options, and specialties, where guests select certain dishes for an upcharge. Hudson's is also open for breakfast and for lunch. And again, for each of those meals is a fixed menu, which stays the same for the entire cruise.
Heading down to deck six, there is a three-story Prima Theater and Club located all the way forward. Much like Virgin Voyages Theater, this transformational space evolves from a three-story theater with a state-of-the-art performance stage to a Vegas-style nightclub with an expansive dance floor. This venue also features a customizable seating layout and moving LED screen. The signature show in the Prima Theater is Summer, the Donna Summer Musical. This performance tells the story of Donna Summer's rise to stardom during the 75-minute production and features more than 20 of the singer's hits. Reservations are required. The Prima Theater also features live on end sale game shows. While The Price is Right was the only one running during our sailing, other game shows are said to include Supermarket Sweep, Press Your Luck, and Beat the Clock. The other signature show set to debut on Prima is Noise Boys. From the producers of The Choir of Man, Noise Boys is a tap dancing, beatboxing spectacular. Additionally, Sensoria will be a high energy nightclub where guests can dance late into the night alongside music from the live DJs and innovative special effects. Heading aft from the theater, there's an expansive three-story Penrose atrium. This modernly designed space features a large chandelier, futuristic architecture, and is filled with plenty of lounge space and shopping. The atrium feels more like an upscale hotel lobby than a typical cruise ship atrium. Located on the port side of Deck 6, in the atrium, is the Penrose Bar. This bar is your go-to for a drink any time of day. It also features video poker machines. It's a great place to people watch while enjoying a cocktail and all the happenings in the lively atrium. This bar also hosts live music during the cruise. On the starboard side of Deck 6 atrium are more shops with offerings like cosmetics, fragrances, jewelry, and some duty-free shopping. Next door to the shops, you'll find the cruise next desks. You'll want to head here if you decide to book another cruise while on board Norwegian Prima. The knowledgeable staff can help you pick the perfect ship and itinerary, and perhaps save you some money with onboard booking perks. Midship on deck six is the casino. The Prima Casino features all your favorite slots and table games. along with a separate VIP casino area. Finally in F6, you'll find the Belvedere Bar, along with two more restaurants. The Belvedere Bar is a contemporary cocktail lounge, featuring craft cocktails with a modern twist on classic drinks. This is a perfect spot to grab a pre-dinner cocktail before heading to an upscale dinner at Cagney Steakhouse. Cagney Steakhouse, located on the port side, is Norwegian Cruise Line's signature steakhouse. This specialty restaurant serves up premium cuts of beef alongside delicious starters, side dishes, and desserts. While the venue might feature some new decor, freestyle cruisers will feel right at home at Cagney's on Norwegian Prima. Cagney's is priced a la carte and reservations are required. Of note, a few dishes do have a supplement when using the dining package. Lastly, across the way, on the starboard side, there is the second complimentary main dining room. The Commodore room is smaller than Hudson's and is only open for dinner. Hudson's and the Commodore room both offer the same fixed menu during the duration of the cruise, so it doesn't really matter which of these two venues you choose, as the food will be the same. The Commodore room does feel more like a traditional cruise ship main dining room than Hudson's. Reservations were not required for these venues during our sale. Now, if our Norwegian Prima ship tour has you excited to book this ship, before you do, we highly recommend you check out our video on everything that's included on Norwegian Cruise Line. While cruising is a great value, not everything is covered in the Cruise Line's base fare. 
In that video, we break down everything that is covered in the Norwegian Cruise Line Cruise Fair, plus what will cost you extra. That way, you can budget appropriately for your upcoming Norwegian Prima Cruise.